Well, The View co-host Sunny Hostin coming under fire for comments that she made stating that Jesus himself would attend an LGBT pride parade. I mean, as outrageous and ridiculous as that claim is, I might slightly agree with her. But before I jump into that, I want to let you know why this whole thing actually came up. This was in response to a tweet that was actually put out by a bishop in Providence, Rhode Island, that actually encouraged Catholics to not attend or support any LGBT pride events taking place here in the month of June, which they call their Pride Month. He said that it goes against Catholic teachings, it goes against Catholic principles, and said basically, you know what, don't compromise for what so many others out there are doing. Now, Hostin, in Hostin's response to this, she claimed that, well, that's real rich coming from this bishop, especially with all the pedophilia, you know, acts and charges and allegations that are coming up in the Catholic Church. And then she said that children would be much safer at a pride parade than they would be in the Catholic Church. So she took a very low blow at the bishop, said that the bishop should be absolutely ashamed of himself for what he said, and that she said, as a proud Catholic herself, that she will be attending pride parade events, and her Catholic children will also be attending the pride events. Whoopi Goldberg, of course, chimed in in support of this as well, saying, God is love. God loves everybody. I mean, you might as well just say, go ahead and sin. Sin everybody. It's totally fine. God loves you anyway. Just sin. It's all love. God made you that way. These are all lies, guys. These are all lies. These co-hosts on The View, they know absolutely nothing, okay? And look, I know there's bad things that take place in the Catholic Church, but what this bishop said is absolutely right. He is absolutely right. As Christians as well, we should stay away from pride events. We should not go and support these things. Celebrate the month, put up a rainbow flag. But let me tie back into what I was saying here at the beginning of this video, where I partially agree with Sonny Hostin on when she said that Jesus would attend a pride event, would attend a pride parade. I think he would too. But he would attend not for the reasons that she thinks that he would attend for. I think he would attend to let everybody know there that they need to repent for their sins. That he would use that as a teaching opportunity. To let those people know that what they are celebrating is they are celebrating sin. I can guarantee you that Jesus would not be in the parade waving the rainbow flag, okay? He would not be doing that. He would be preaching to these people. Letting them know, repent. Trust in me, call on me to forgive you so that you can come into the kingdom of heaven, so that you could spend eternity with me in heaven. You know, Jesus told the disciples, you know, where I go, I will go and prepare a place for you. Where I go in my father's house, house are many mansions. He's preparing a place for us. But people like this, if they don't repent, they're not going there. They're going somewhere else that they're not going to want to go to. That's the sad reality here. Never compromise the truth, no matter how hard it is, no matter how much backlash you get, no matter how many people call you names. Don't ever compromise the Word of God and what you know to be true. doesn't matter what the media says, what, you know, Joy Behar, Sonny Austin, Whoopi Goldberg, anybody there on The View says. The line is being drawn in the sand. Are you on the side of truth or are you on the side of lies? What the devil puts out there. We're in the last days. Christ is coming back soon. Guys, I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about Sonny Hostin saying that Jesus would attend an LGBT pride parade. Do you think he would be celebrating with them? Or do you agree more with my position and think that if he did attend, that he would be using it as a teaching opportunity to let these people know that what they're doing is wrong. They need to call on the name of the Lord to be saved, to be forgiven of their sins. Sound off down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.